Today, let's talk about the Revelate Designs Jerry Can Bent. Welcome back everybody, Captain Bob here. We're out in the Bicycle Bat Cave today. It's been raining, but it's starting to clear off now and the birds are starting to sing. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Revelate Designs Jerry Can Bent. Now, if you're familiar with the original Jerry Can, you know that this is a bag that goes right up underneath the seat where the tube meets. And it's a really handy storage place for lots of different items. The problem comes in if you've got a bike with a frame that is gusseted there where the seat post goes in, or if you just have a bicycle with geometry that's such that there's quite an angle there, this original jerry can just doesn't fit in that position very well. This is really made more for a, a 90 degree spot there, but with the Surly ECR that I'm riding, of course it's gusseted at that seat post location, and so there's the need for a different bag. So that brings us to the Revelate Designs jerry can bent. So what's the difference? Well, obviously there's an angle on the back side of this, but also they've lowered it just a little and made it longer overall. So if we compare the two, you can see that, if I flatten this one down, you can see it's a little shorter, but it's also a little longer in this direction. So what is this really good for? I'll tell you exactly what I use it for, and I find that this version is even better the way I use it. So we'll open it up and show you what's inside. Um, important factors are this is made out of X-Pack, so this is a waterproof material. Both of these are. They have a waterproof zipper on the top. It's kind of stiff, but definitely helps keep the water out. You've got this Velcro on the back with a rubber sort of bumper to kind of go up against the, the seat, seat tube. And then you've got Velcro on the bottom, which comes with a longer strap, and then you can cut to the length that fits your tube best. It is kind of textured on the bottom, so that tends to help keep it from slipping and sliding around side to side. And the type of things that I keep in here, well, I've got the Stan's Dart Tool. If you're not familiar with this, I'll talk about this at some point and why I think this is really cool if you're tubeless. I keep a seat cover that goes over my Brooks saddle in case it's raining or if it's night and you want to keep dew off your seat. This is handy no matter what saddle you have because it covers it really easily. The alternative to this that I have used in the past also is a shower cap. Believe it or not, that works and you can pick them up for free if you have a hotel stay that gives them away. I keep a small tube of ibuprofen or any kind of pills, allergy pills or whatever, Benadryl. I keep a small bike lock and I tell everyone this bike lock is simply to keep the honest people honest. This is not going to stop someone from stealing your bike and it's not meant to. It's meant to just be a hindrance. I keep a couple of tire lever levers in there. I keep some sunscreen, a small tube of sunscreen. I also do keep a patch kit in here in case I have to put a tube in the bike for some reason and I need a patch. Keep a little patch kit in there. And then I keep some rolled up Gorilla Tape, duct, style, duct Tape style Gorilla Tape, just wrapped around itself, flattened out, stores easily in the bottom. Inside, you can see that it has a yellow color. Both of these are the same in that regard. That helps you be able to see things in there a little bit easier. It does have a, uh, a little elastic strip in the bottom that'll allow you to put something underneath it if you need to. But there is a ton of room in this, uh, particularly this bent version. You can easily get all of this stuff in there and still have room to spare. I could put more things in here. I just haven't done so yet. Uh, I do need to rep get a new tube of sunscreen, so I'm just about out there, but I've added the dart tool. I keep the seat uh, cover in there, and there's still, there's still room to pack more stuff in here. You can see there's a lot of space in here. It's by no means crowded. Zips up easily, keeps it waterproof, even if it doesn't necessarily need to be. It's nice that that is an option. The question I get a lot of times is, is that being down there when you're riding and with your legs pedaling, does it rub? For me, I haven't had that issue. It hasn't been a problem. Um, it tends to stay in place. It's real streamlined. When I get off the bike, I'm usually getting off on the tube such that it's sort of in front of me 
uh, the straddle position over the tube anyway, so that's not a problem as well. I also run this with a mag tank in the front, so I still have room on the top tube to be able to stand over the bike if I need to, although I find that I don't do that that often, occasionally. But I don't get any rub out of this. I haven't had any issues. If there's any potential wear places, it might be the Velcro. Although I've had this one for two to almost three years, this Velcro has lasted just fine. So that hasn't been a problem either. As far as cost goes, this bag's $46, which when I look at the size, the shape, the materials, the quality of the construction, I think that's a deal, honestly. I think $46 for this bag is a reasonable price. Revelate's really good about shipping them out fairly quickly. They keep this stuff in stock most of the time. And whether you decide on the regular shape or the bent, both of them are a great place to put a few tools, tubes, sunscreen, lots of little knickknacks. I find that when I didn't carry this bag for a little while, I took the bag off, I really missed what it brought to the entire package. So I do recommend this if you're bike packing. Fits well on the ECR with this bent version. Don't hesitate to get out there and pick one up and try it for yourself. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.